Hello, my name is Joshua Mutu and welcome to Pixelmake. In our last video, we created the Asteroid Field script. If you haven't watched that, the link will be in the description below. In today's video, we're going to be creating the damage interactions between the ship and the asteroids. The difficulty of today's video is going to be the fluffy difficulty, so it won't be that hard to do. The asset packs we'll be using in today's video is our very own spaceship pack and asteroid pack. The link for those will be in the description below. If you want to start from this point in the series, you can download the project off GitHub. The link for that will be in the description below. So to start off, in order for the ship to take damage from the asteroids, the asteroids need to deal damage. So if we open the asteroid controller, in our asteroid stats class, I'm going to create a public float and I'm going to call it damage. So I'm going to save that and in our ship controller, just like our asteroid controller, I'm going to create another public class and I'm going to call it ship stats. So for the health, we need a max health, so public float, max health, and we also need our ship's current health, so public float, current health. So because we're not deriving from mono behavior, we need to do in square brackets, we need to do system.serializable. And to access it in our ship controller, we need to create a public ship stats, and I'm going to call it stats. So in our start function, I'm going to set our ship's current health to be equal to our ship's max health. So stats.current health is equal to stats.max health. Next, we've got to create our on collision function. So we do void on collision enter. So in our on collision function, I'm going to create an if statement to check if the object we've collided with is an asteroid. So we do if brackets collision dot game object dot tag is equal to uh, in quotations, we do asteroids. Is it asteroids or asteroid? Wait, hold on. Oh, it's asteroid. It's asteroid. Sorry. Curly brackets. And then we do stats dot current health minus equals collisions dot transform dot get component and we want to get our asteroid controller so asteroid controller brackets dot stats dot damage and then we also want to destroy our asteroid so we do destroy brackets collisions dot game object so if we save that go back to unity wait for it to update before we test our game we need to first set our asteroid damage so I'm going to go to the preverb folder, go to our asteroids, and I'm going to set our asteroid damage to be increments of five. And I'm also going to select the ship and set its uh, max health. And I'm going to set that to be 100. So I'm going to apply those changes. And if we test our game with our ship selected, we should take damage and the asteroids will destroy themselves. But as you can see, our sh uh, ship's current health will keep going below zero. So, so what we need to do is create a def function. So if we go back to our ship controller and in the update function, so void update, I'm going to create an if statement to check if our ship's health is less than or equal to zero. So if stats.currenthealth is less than or equal to zero, we want to destroy our ship. So destroy brackets game object. So if we save that, go back to unity, and before we test our game, I'm going to zoom out and move our asteroid field back a bit. So now if you select our ship, test our game, our ship will keep taking damage. And once its health is less than zero, it will destroy itself. Before the video ends, I'd just like to give a special thanks to the artist behind our asset packs, Julian. You can find him on Instagram at woo.ju.digital. So that's all we've got for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Unity 3D. For updates on our asset packs and videos, don't forget to hit that notification bell and also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. For a more behind the scenes look into what we do, you can also follow us on Instagram. Links for those will be in the description below. My name is Joshua Mutu and thanks for watching.